Today's lesson is on multiplying two-digit by one-digit numbers with arrays. Here is our learning scale. We're going to be focusing on level three and level two. Notice on level three, we're only going to be talking about one digit by four digit problems. And on level two, we're going to also be looking at place value and strategies. So here's our learning goal on the board. Remember, you do not have to copy this because you have it in your notebook. But we're going to illustrate and explain multiplication calculations of up to one digit by four digit problems. We're going to mainly focus on the area model or rectangular arrays today. And we're also going to multiply whole numbers of one digits by four digits using strategies based on place value. So I would like you to write down these steps in your notebook for homework tonight. This is exactly what you need to do in order to multiply a two digit by one digit number. So if you need to pause the video to do this, please do so now. All right, and here are the directions on the side just for our own little use so we can check off as we go. And we're going to do an example. So first what we're going to do is number one says to break up the two digit number into tens and ones. So 14 has one 10 and four ones because 10 plus four is 14. So I did step one. Now I'm going to create a box to separate the tens and ones. It is created for you already. I'm going to multiply the tens and ones by the single digit number. So I'm going to put my broken up number across the top and I'm multiplying by five, so the five goes on the side. Now this is kind of like battleship, okay? The 10 is going to come straight down and I'm going to do 10 and the five is going to come straight across times five. The four is going to come straight down and then the five is going to come across, so I can multiply. Now I'm going to do 10 times five. I'm going to use my circle and triangle strategy. My basic fact is one times five, one times five is five, and I have one more zero and I'm going to add that zero. Then I'm going to simply do four times five, which is 20. So I multiply the tens by the single digit number and I multiply the ones by the single digit number. The last thing I need to do is add the partial products. The partial products are the numbers inside the box that you multiplied. They're part of the product. So I'm going to do 50 plus 20 and that's going to be 70. So 14 times five is 70. Let's try another one. So the first step is to break up the tens and ones of my two digit number. So I have two tens and four ones. Now I'm going to create a box and I'm going to separate my tens and ones. So I did both of these steps. Now I'm going to multiply the tens by the single digit number. So I have 20 times nine, circle and triangle, two times nine is 18, one more zero, bring the four down, bring the nine across, Four times nine is 36, I did step four. Step five is to add your partial products. So I have 180 plus 36. Six and zero is six, eight and three is 11, one and one is two. So 216 is the product of 24 times nine. Um, I believe we already did this one, so we're gonna skip this. So next we're going to do 67 times five. So I'm going to first step, break up into tens and ones, create a box and separate my tens and ones, multiply the tens by the single digit. So 60 times five, six times five is 30, one more zero, 300, five times seven is 35. We did step three and four, add your partial products, 300 plus 35, this one's pretty easy. 5, 3, and 3, so 335 is your final answer. All right, let's do 67 times 8. I believe this one's the last one we're going to do together. So 60 plus 7, breaking up my 10s and 1s, create my box, multiply by the single digit number, so 60 times 8, basic fact, 6 times 8 is 48, one more zero, multiply, by the one, seven times eight is 56. Add my partial products, 480 plus 56. Six and zero is six, five and eight is 13, four and one is five, 536. All right, so here are some problems that you can practice tonight. So you have 18 times one, 37 times two, and 27 times six. After you've done that, 
Here's your learning goal again. Think about where you are after you've seen this video. Thank you for your hard work and I will see you tomorrow.